hello <laughs> and welcome to Libra's Cafe here on the Hourglass where I will be serving you clear, simple, refreshing, useful, energetic insights on themes or trends that may be occurring in your Libra life. All right. This, uh, this does not, uh, restrict any Libra cross watchers. Welcome. This is a safe haven for you to, uh, voice your comments only if you do it in a very, um, clean and classy way. All right. We don't want any bashing too much on my channel. I do not put into that negative bullshit. So if you come, come good. Cause you're going to get blocked anyway. I mean, I don't know. I never blocked anyone before, but don't test me. All right. So Libras, what is going on with you? How, how, you, how are you guys been doing since the Mercury retrograde? I know I have a couple people that try to spin back, try to do a UE, but you know, I charge extra when you want to come back into my life. I charge taxes as well because we all grown. We all know better, right? Unless you're some, some type of self-centered, selfish biatch, uh, which I do not condone. All right. So let's move forward, Libra. So I was going to work with my new deck, but I'm going to leave that for another day. And that's because it's very different from the modern tarot. All right. It has a lot to do with, um, Egyptian hieroglyphs and, uh, the Kabbalah. So I'm going to leave that for, I think I'm going to, do that when it's more spiritually in depth for today. I just want to bounce off and see what's been happening with you guys. You know, what's up? Who's been ghosting y'all? I feel some of you have been ghosted. So let's start off with the romance deck. What's going on with your love life, Libra? You know, Libra, I have to say, I believe, um, out of all the signs in the Zodiac, Libra is the one to have the most, um, difficulties. And that's because we're kind of like, we're, we're always striving for that equilibrium between logic and emotions. So we're not too emotional yet. We're not too logical. All right. So we are not like a Capricorn where it's all about hard work and play, but little room for, um, real love commitments and Virgo. That's so cynical and we're kind of like in the balance between everyone where we should be. All right. They are, they also said that Libra, where they're at in the placement, they're in the highest, um, position on the, the Zodiac, whatever, right. The Zodiac scale, right. So Libras try to maintain that balance within your own life. I'm not saying that you have to be a perfectionist and everything has to be perfect. I mean, really balance out your emotions with your logic, always be on the same, the same equilibrium, to make those really decisive, uh, actions. All right. So let's see what's going on with you and your beloved, uh, Libra. What's going on, Libra? And you guys know I am a Libra sun and moon. Uh, my Venus is in Scorpio. My rising is, uh, Aries and I have multiple planets in Sagittarius. <laughs> surprising. I'm fire. I'm like really fiery, but I'm very cool and laid back. All right. So Libra, what? What's going on, Libra? So you have some new love or you have some new energy of love coming through. Um, some of you might, uh, just met someone and you're like in this honeymoon phase where you guys are getting to know each other. It's all bubbles and kisses like puppy love, right? So it says, let your friends help you though, Libra. So maybe your friends are seeing things that you're not. You could also be going to a tarot reader or you want to go to a tarot reader about a personal, really getting in depth about this person. Some of you may be feeling like it's too good to be true, but you're going with the flow here is what I'm getting. For some of you, some, somebody from the past is going to come back. It's somebody that you had a little, um, conflict with, or it was very difficult getting through to this person. Some friends may have helped you get out of it. But I'm seeing that this person may come back around when you're deep or you're, you're like really throwing yourself into something else. All right. Where you're very, um, distracted from that person. You've been pulled away from that person. For some of you, you guys prayed for this ending to come out. Um, and when I say that, I mean that you guys may have been co so consumed by this, uh, old energy that you may have unknowingly said a silent prayer to pull you away from this person. And it did, it did, it did work, didn't it? Someone new came into your life or you had a new energy of love towards any, any, anything could be your passions, your hobbies. 
and you're kind of like in this blissful time. You guys may be kind of like enjoying the weather, the holidays that's coming up. You're very, ang not anxious, but you're excited to really um, have fun this holiday season. And somebody's watching you. All right. You do have protection here. I'm guided to say that your angels are here protecting you from someone that may have hurt you or may have th taught you a lesson about your worth. All right. And then we have flirt as the overall energy. So again, I do feel that energy here. You may be in a very high spirit, yet you still go back to someone that um, did something didn't work out with someone here. And you seem to be going back and forth about your feelings for this person. So you may be still talking about them to your friend, or you may be wanting to check into their energy through tarot readings. Um, and that's fine. You know, it just shows that you did care about that person, that your heart did hold some type of space for them, but you are going to have some new love coming in. And if you really want to be happy and move forward and let this person go, you really might have to need to cut, cut the cords eh, and do some type of aura healing to um, kind of close that opening for that person. No one said that you have to stop caring for them, but we all know um, when we're ready to move on, we are ready to move on, all right? And some of you are definitely ready for something new, where it's more blissful, it's more peaceful, it feels very divine or very heaven sent. Or this, this new person may be looking at you as heaven sent. Uh, you may have met at nighttime or on a full moon phase, and you're kind of reluctant to give this person your all because maybe you met them at Mercury retrograde and with all the Mercury, Mercury retrograde things going on, you may be very cautious about what this person is. Is he a karmic? Is he another karmic lesson? But we will never know unless we go through it until we have the guts to pull through it. And when we uh, acknowledge um, and honor our personal boundaries. All right, today's Saturday. This is my first time uploading videos on Saturday, but I have been having a very crazy busy week and my schedule was thrown off so I say what the heck I'm quiet I'm alone right now I have a new mic I have a new setup I'm feeling very energetic you guys so I'm saying you know what it's a beautiful Saturday here in Houston so why not why not all right so let's see what's going on Libra with this new love a new person has stirred your romantic feelings Ooh, child all right so my deck is not upside down, you guys, but the moon card is. <laughs> so reverse. All right. So what is the moon in reverse, you guys? It's all about um, things coming to light, you know, things that was hidden from you and now coming to the light. Maybe you found out that your old person is moving on as well. And that kind of like cleared the air. Maybe you were kind of concerned if you had a second chance with this person or they wanted to come back and now you may have snooped around or whatever because I feel like with the moon card it's all about sneaking around in the dark or fumbling in the dark whatever but anyway some type of secret is out. This new person could have finally came up to you and confessed um, how they really feel here. All right some really um, deep desires came and come up to the surface here you guys so and then it's been illuminated here. Somebody's definitely trying to show you how they feel. Um, it could be a Cancer or a Scorpio. Because with this crab thing, I kind of think of it as a Scorpion. So I think of Scorpio and Pisces. In that card, it doesn't have to be. And now we have the Two of Wands. Now you're trying to figure out how to move forward with this new love. So um, you may want to try a different path or a different routine, or a different way of doing things with this new person. But it's like, um, maybe you're still discovering new things about this person. Still getting to know each other, hey? Some of you could be planning a trip, or this person wants to plan a trip with you for the holidays. We did a honeymoon card there. Something you're wanting to go to or go at with this person. Oh, okay. So you may have a new goal for love. All right. You may have a new energy for love. So now you want a new goal. You want a new outcome. You want a new result when it comes to love. All right. So you're trying to like decide or you have to decide, but you're not wanting to make that action, that decisive action. Beautiful Libra. Beautiful Libra. And Libras are very strong, you know, male and female. You guys are very strong. Again, you guys, my uh, readings does not limit to gender based. This could be male or female energy. 
I feel like more to my cards was there for some reason. So we have the world and now we have the three of pentacles. So this may be a fixed sign or they're very fixed or you're very fixed in um, your approach here, Libra. Uh, you could be dealing with an Aquarius. Any fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries could be a strong Leo here. Energy coming through. There's Scorpio and there's Taurus. All right. So with the three of pentacles, I'm going to get real detail into this reading today, Libra, because, you know, I love y'all. Y'all my soul tribe. What up? What up? Go on, big up yourself in the comment box if you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> All right. So with the three of pentacles, you could be dealing with a Capricorn or you did deal with a Capricorn. I did mention a Capricorn all year talking about they love to do hard work. But when it comes to relationships, they're a little bit um, detached. So um, you may be a little bit detached right now, really into your career, your work. But this new love is right here. Libra, it's a chance for a new beginning. You have successfully or you have accomplished uh, closing out a cycle in your life, whether you know it or not. And I think that this is what's going to come to light with the moon card in reverse. You're going to have a chance to rebuild or revamp your look or how you feel about love. But it's up to you to take the first step. I feel like this person is watching your social media. So you may be not popular, but you may be a very... Um, you may be an influencer and you may not know that. So this person may be a secret admirer that watches you uh, work. This could be someone at your workplace that collaborates with you or um, cooperates with you at work and you have no idea yet. All right. So maybe you're going through some type of healing process and they're very aware and they're giving you the space. They're respecting uh, your growth. Here, all right. This person could be very religious or they could be very traditional or they want something very traditional with you, possibly marriage or something very long term um, is what I'm getting. They could be older and very wise. Tell me more about this honeymoon, beloved. What's going on? All right. So I did say that maybe a very older person, very wise. We have now the hermit card, which talks about Virgo. So this person could be very much in their head about taking you on a honeymoon for the holidays like they want to spend the holidays with you they're trying to uh come out of the cold head or come out of their mind uh with their hermit card so they may be looking for ideas or they themselves may be going through a healing process as well where they feel very isolated libra so the both of you may be just coming out of a cycle that you're um successfully closing in life all right, so we have two pages, two page energy here. We have the page of cups with the page of swords. So right away, automatically, I got something about image. Um, yeah, okay, so this may be a very um, start. This may be some starter energy, like I'm starting or I'm beginning um, to really come out of this uh, reserve energy is what I'm getting here, you guys. Again, I'm seeing Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, uh, Air Signs, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So you and this person could be just friends. Is my cards in the camera? Yeah. So you and this person may be just friends for now. This may be the beginning of something very blissful, all right? But it's in the beginning stages. Or you may look at this. You may not even notice this person because they may be shy and bashful when it comes to you. But they feel like you're destined or you're meant to be in their life. They feel like some type of connection with you. And they may be reserved about it or they may be up in their mind about it a lot. They look at you a lot. I feel like you um, you touch their soul. All right. So we have the eight of pentacles, uh, temperance and the star. Whoa, so there's a lot of healing going on here. Maybe you both went through a really tough, challenging time and you both are really healing each other. And for some reason, this person thinks that you're a dream come true. Maybe the things that you talk about, again, if you're on social media, someone may be following you and really uh, resonate with the things that you talk about. I keep getting the phrase, you touch my soul deeply. This may be your energy towards them, you guys. Take it how it resonates. The genders could flip-flop. The energy could flip-flop, all right? But it's a start, hey, because we have the world card. Again, I'm not thinking this person is uh, immature. I'm feeling that they're very old. 
they may be old in age but they look very young that's a strong possibility as well and they're very reserved about what they know libra so they may know a lot about you with the page of swords um <laughs> and the hermit they may know more than you think they know libra I feel like they're attracted to your breasts if you're a female. If you're a guy, I feel like they're attracted to your physique, your muscle. You could work out a lot, but they're attracted to the bust area. Maybe you show a lot of cleavage or you're very empowered. Maybe you're a very empowered person. You empower yourself and they love that. They resonate with that. You bring some type of healing to them. You balance something out within this person, Libra. I feel like they want to they want to pour into your cup. So maybe you will look a little um lonely at times and they want to share some type of affection with you, but they watch, you know, and they consider doing that. They consider taking you out possibly, but it's just a thought say, you know, but somebody's going through a healing. This could possibly be you, Libra, and um you may be wishing on a star or you may be doing some type of nightly rituals where you're cutting cords or pulling energy back to yourself as well is what i'm seeing but a new beginning is here and it's here for your taking libra if you would let it be all right um i feel like this person has been watching you and they feel like you need to heal more or they feel like your moods tend to change so if this person is watching your social media they may be assuming things about you as well. So we say we have let your friends help and we have the eight of pentacles. So you may be overworking yourself, Libra, and you may need to give some of those responsibility to others. So if you're doing too much at work, if you're doing too much at home, try to equally um, sort out who needs to do what. You can't do it alone, Libra, especially if you're still going through a healing phase where you're trying to uh, empower yourself and you're trying to stay hopeful about the holidays. So maybe some of you are very concerned about funds uh, that you need to spend or um, spend on your family. And you really need to uh, kind of give, give, give others their own responsibility. Maybe you're taking on too much of others' responsibility while they laggy, lag, laggy gaggy, or I don't know how you say that, but it just came right out. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Libra, maybe you're working some overtime because you want to travel as well. You may have plans to do some things with this new person. Or again, you may have this new energy of love, new goals for love. And you're working towards that very diligently. Um, you could even be doing some studies at home or be behind closed doors. Some of you are working on your shadow uh, side of yourself as well. You're learning how to... Um, really connect with the divine is what I just heard. All right. So you're kind of like honing in some type of potential creativity by working at it. You guys, I feel like it's your crown chakra, this spirit, this awareness, your union with God for some. And because you're doing that, you're having a lot of revelations, a lot of healing. Hey, Libra. And because of your hard work, you're going to be rewarded with something very lovely, something that has a loving result, but you have to be open with it. For some of you, you might be isolating yourself too much, all right? You have to come out, you know, stop being a, um, a nomad, <laughs> come out, all right? So your, your dream is here, is what I'm saying, is what I'm guided to say. Your dream come true is here, but you have to really heal yourself or balance your logic with your heart all right so I, I would i did say that in one video i don't know if it's on this one. Oh my god i've been talking too much today but you have a lot of power all right you have a lot of power that's going on a lot of emotional strength or spiritual strength that you really need to hone in i'm guided to say that you know who is still around you i don't know where that came from libra but you know who is still here, whether it's a grandparent that passed over, somebody that's very dead to your heart passed over. And the reason why I'm guided to say that, Libra, is because the same angel is here twice. Look at the wings. It's all white, you know, and I'm getting very emotional. So this may be somebody that you're really close to. I feel like it was somebody older, maybe a grandfather, maybe a father, a grandmother, a mother, 
<coughs> excuse me. But what I'm seeing here is that they may have passed over recently or very long time ago. Because I, I keep getting you know who. <laughs> you know who is still here. Yeah. White feathers usually mean, or maybe you're being in contact with white feathers. And it says, let your friends help you. So your friends don't always have to be physical humans. They could also be your ancestors, your spiritual guide, your spirit team, the almighty, whoever you resonate with. But you know who it is. You know who still around protecting you. And I feel like they're, they're watching over whatever this new love thing is. They're, they're, they're there for your protection, for your help if you need it, Libra. Speak up, Libra. You know who it is. Whoa. Blowing me away, girl. Oh, boy. You know what it is. Take it out. It resonates. You guys. I feel like you guys may be practicing celibacy. You guys are not sexually active at this moment. All right. So we have the six of cups when I said that, huh? So you may be sexually, you may be celibate from the last encounter you had from someone. But what I'm seeing here is that somebody from your past may be wanting to come back through. And this could be a former friend. It doesn't have to be romantic. This could be somebody that you worked with a long time ago and they may reach out to you, Libra, for whatever reason. Uh, they may have missed you or they may have a gift to give you. Maybe some type of job that you did for them and now they're coming back around to show appreciation. Uh, you could have been that friend that that person need to help them. And um, I feel like you did the job really good and now they want to recognize you um, as such. For some of you, um, this could be also about somebody from the past that's coming back in this new energy. And you, it's really um, causing you to isolate yourself from them because it's like, it's the beginning, it's new, but you feel threatened like, Maybe this person is going to undo your healing process or they're going to undo um, your empowerment. So maybe this, per this person bruised your confidence or they chipped away at your confidence. And now that you're feeling more empowered um, in your vulnerability, they want to come back around. You still care for this person. All right. Is what I'm seeing that you still do care for them. Oh, my God. I have. I thought I had something here that I wrote, but it's not here anymore. That's why you have to pay attention before you start the camera. <laughs> All right. So <clears throat> I guess not Libra. I thought I had something in here, but I got some names that rang through last night. You guys, I don't know. Um, I heard the word Renata last night and I heard Renee. I heard Jacob and Jasmine. So I don't know. This could be brothers and sisters. This could be a brother. Uh, this could be a sibling that's um, a really close friend to you. Somebody needs to work on communication here as well with someone from their past. So maybe you guys need to clear the air so you can move forward, so you could um, complete this healing as well. Still some type of expectation. Maybe you're expecting this person to come and offer you something here, Libra. <clears throat> all right so we have the seven of wands now and the devil all right so some strong passion here you guys what is going on so i did mention celibacy but there's passion maybe somebody is tempting you here libra from the past that you was intimate with and you're kind of closed off from this person or well, this person could have been very um short with you meaning that you know you couldn't really it was, it was very difficult. It was complicated to work with this person. I feel this person was very imbalanced because they were very toxic at the time. But again, Libra, if this is somebody from the past, right? This is for those that may be concerned about somebody coming back from the past or they did and you, now you're closed off. So what I'm seeing here, Libra, is that they may be chained to a lot of codependency and addictions, but it's almost like they're fighting that. They're protecting their energy from that because they want to reconcile with you. They may have this new energy of love or the new, this new perspective of love being that the moon came out in, reserve, in reverse. 
they had a lot of things that came out in the open and about them. Maybe you found out some things through stalking and it came out and um, you left this person at a crossroad because uh, they were very uh, indecisive in taking action. So maybe they wanted you. They wanted to be with you. They may have even felt like this was... Um, unhealthy the way that they felt about you so this is why it was very hard for them to make their mind up libra when it came to working with you but now that has come to a close and the new beginning is here i feel like they're still um contemplating or reflecting about really coming in with this new beginning they may even offer to go out with you or take you out for the holidays because we have temperance and the star they look at you as their dream come true and they know that they needed to balance themselves out to have this um refresh energy when it comes to you because we're still in this beginning energy all right they may have been amateurs when it came to this love connection libra for some of you you may have a new person that's coming in but you're so isolated from working with them that you may leave them at a crossroad and they may not know which direction to take it with you um I feel like they want to recognize you or they feel like you're an old soul to them. They may, with the temperance, the star and the six of cups, this person may feel like you're an old soul or you guys have um, a past life connection. Hey, They may think or they may daydream about you at work. They're very intoxicated by you. They have a strong passion for you. I feel like they want to protect you as well. And um, you may be talking to your friends or they may be talking to their friends about how they feel about you, Libra. So we have six with the devil and we have six with the six of cups. That is a master number, you guys. And we all know that's transformation of knowledge. So somebody's definitely having some past life uh, dreams here or, or something like that. Something from their past life is coming to surface. Flirt is the overall energy with the eight of cups. So, um, what I'm getting here is that somebody walked away from you, Libra, or you walked away from somebody from your past and now you're more in a light hearted energy. So you went from something that was all right and you're going into a more light hearted phase with others. So you left something, you had the, the courage to pick yourself up and leave. Um, you turned your back on something that you put a lot of emotions, a lot of effort into but you could have recognized that it was very toxic or this person needed to grow they needed to heal themselves on their own journey and you you know you called your energy back in and you protect yourself as you walked away libra that's awesome huh all right but the devil card is here that's telling me that um there may be some deceptive energy or there's just a lot of passion right here or you may be very um intoxicating person um, you may attract a lot of people that needs healing to Libra because again, you're in that frequency. So you're going to attract a lot of wounded, uh, people as well. You're going to attract a lot of narcissists, people that are looking for a supply and you may be a perfect target Libra and you may need to protect that energy with the seven of wands. You may need to have patience here and you may need to trust what you're seeing. All right. It's all about long term. Uh, saw the saw them out, saw the mice out from the men, or the mice from the women, whatever. Um, what is long term here, and what is short term here, Libra? Right. So let's get a a last card here from the Divine Doors, which is my favorite deck. Divine Doors. Is my camera still rolling? Ah, uh, yes, it is. <laughs> so you guys, I do do uh, clarifying cards on personal readings only when it's general i just use uh one tarot deck to uh clarify but in personal readings i do do extra cards extra decks all right we do have eight eight here as well you guys <laughs> i'm just looking over here you guys with the star all right so we have eight no oh, sorry we have eight eight didn't I see another eight? Okay, so we have eight, eight, and with the star is eight. So we have that in the light aspect is be ready for changes, Libra, to unfold. This may be increase in prosperity, in your abundance, um, mindset, or your aura, opportunities, and ideas, all right? Uh, in the shadow aspect, uh, eight, eight, eight could be um, materialistic 
energies that may be around you beware of putting down others libra um as libras i know we could be very critical as well we could be very uh nitpicky i don't know if that's the word but try to control that again if somebody's from your past is coming through libra try not to be so um uh, I don't know what to say, but try not to criticism, criticize them too much. Again, we all on the same type of journey, but different roads. All right, Libra, if you feel like this person is coming to play some type of game with you, they're coming back with the same devil energy. They're still holding on to addictions, codependency, protect yourself. You know how to do that now, right? You know how to do that now, Libra. Follow your intuition. So with the page of cups, I'm definitely feeling like somebody is very romantic. They feel very romantic towards you or you feel very romantic towards someone, but you're still like observing them. You may be observing their uh, image or somebody here is very about their image right now. Beloved, one more card for us Libras. Again, this is the Libra Cafe here under Hourglass where we get our coffee. Well, I don't have my coffee right now, but um, that would have been a good idea, right? But I am planning to change the setup for the Libra Cafe to a more coffee theme because I love coffee and my daughter makes the most best coffee I ever tasted. I don't know. I can't even get it like her and I watch her do it all the time and I just can't get it like that. Maybe that love ingredient is in there. <laughs> All right, you guys, let's see. You love it. What's up? Let's share some type of wisdom with Libras today. Libra. It's too many cards, Libs. What's up with y'all? All right, so we have two cards I wanted to come out here. Let's see what they say. So it says deeper. You're not finished. <laughs> You're not finished. You're not yet done. Dig deeper and deeper. The best is to come. Hold on, hold on, pass this on. All right, Libra, I'm just showing you the door. Showing you the door. All right, so you heard it there, Libra. Dig deeper. Dig deeper. We have a lot of water energy going on here. Um, you know, take it how it resonates, you guys, but dig deeper. We also have the hermit that is very wise they um, isolate themselves to dig deeper within themselves self actual actualization or realization here going on and let's get the next door <clears throat> it says birth another gateway another gateway <laughs> another gateway appears in view new life is unfolding with blessings to you libra so um I feel like for the collective, because I have been getting these two cards for um, some of my personal readings as well, as a collective, as a whole, this is an opportunity for a new beginning, and it's right in front of you for your taking, as I mentioned earlier, Libra, it's right there, but you have to be able to dig deep within yourself with the two healing cards that are paired together, the temperance and the star, you really have to dig deep here, Libra. All right. You really, I said in the beginning that Libras are not too emotional. We're not too logical, but we need to really dig deep so we could uncover our full potential today, because that's the point of this journey is to uncover our full potential is to reach that full potential. So we have that self mastery as well. And we could fulfill the mission in love. It's always about love. Love is the most highest frequency. I think joy is. And it has something else above that as well. I think it's enlightenment. But you get what I'm saying, you guys. This is a journey of love for self and for those around us. Relationships play a major role in our life. All right? I don't care what anybody says. Relationships make up a major part of our life's journey. All right, Libras? So I hope that you did enjoy this reading today here on Libra's Cafe at the Hourglass. Holla! Go on, big up yourself if you are a true Libra uh, as well, all right? Let me know your birthday. Maybe you may find your um, twin. I also see another master number here that I forgot to mention, and it talks about manifestation. It's really heightened right now. You are at a uh, magician or a high priestess, I want to I wanna say, um, that with uh, the world card three and three of pentacles, you do have this opportunity to make some type of dream come true, Libra, but you really have to dig deep and you really have to be committed to it. All right. You're not finished. You are not finished. 
you're not yet done. So you're not yet done. Some of you may be feeling very attacked or um, panicky at this time, but you're not yet done. Maybe you still have some work to do when it comes to clearing out some air with some old people here who seems to be stuck in this toxic vibration. Do not let them hold on to you, Libra. All right. So holla if you hear me. Like, subscribe, share, comment. Let me know if you did enjoy the content today. And again, thank you for your personal readings. All the description, all the details in the description box below. Check out many of my other videos on my playlist and chat to you later. Ciao.